I grew up over in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and it's uh, where I learned to talk, right? <laughs> and um, when, when I was a little boy, um, I, well, I wasn't so little, I was like 16 years old. And, uh, I got to want what every 16 year old boy wants. And, I wanted a car. <laughs> and uh, so I figured timing is everything. So I told my daddy one day when he was having to give me a ride somewhere, that he didn't want to especially give me that ride. I said, um, mm, Dad, check it out. I'll give my sisters a ride anywhere they want to go. <laughs> I got $500 saved up. You could loan me five hundred dollars, and I could get this little car right down here. I was promising everything, and he looked at me and he said, "I tell you what, son, um, I will just give you five hundred dollars. It's about thousand dollars, and you can take your five hundred dollars and pay the insurance, and I'll buy that car for you on one condition." I said, "Okay." And, uh, he said, "You, you got to cut that long hair off." <laughs> And uh, back then, my hair was barely touching my collar. And that was a big deal. I mean, I played baseball all through high school and a little bit of college. And they even had a rule in baseball that you, if your hair touched your collar, you couldn't play in the game. They'd come out there and measure it and cut your hair off. It was serious. I bet they dislike the long hair. They even had signs in my hometown. You couldn't go in there if you had a long hair. Anyway, I looked back at my daddy and I said, well, come on, daddy. He, my daddy was a preacher, and so I figured that he knew. And I said, come on, daddy, Jesus had long hair. <laughs> I, I've seen all the pictures. <laughs> oh, I read about 10 seconds of silence, and then daddy looked at me and said, you right, son. And he walked everywhere he went. <laughs>
forgive you, forgive you, and I'll adore you. If I was Jesus, while I was hanging, hanging on your cross, if I was Jesus, happy Sunday, everybody.